Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tesla DMV. All right, In so. 100 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. A little roundabout traffic circle action this morning. Let's see now how we do. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. No erratic left turns. Notice since the update is done really well. Um, it used to just try to make a left on that road there but now it, it continues past it so that that's a great improvement let's see it now go through the entire traffic circle on its own no pedals no steering here we go all right well done nice job look at that yeah so having a car that has um, over the air updates makes a huge difference as you can see like um, if you look back at my videos from just less than three weeks ago um, my car couldn't go through that roundabout it was it was given issues uh, basically what I was doing was providing feedback uh, by just providing a quick snapshot and then I was taken over like I, I was driving that myself manually uh, but since I received the update 10.69.2.3, it has been able to handle that roundabout no problem. So, yeah, shout out to the Tesla Autopilot team. Uh, don't bet against them, straight up. I mean, like, it goes to show, like, that rate of improvement is crazy because I'm sure there's lots of other roundabouts and traffic mess ups and people giving like uh, feedback on spots that don't work and for them to fix that really quickly is awesome all right so check this out we've got some construction nice nice job I love it FSD going around the cones no problem detected it super quick reactions super quick learning um, really spectacular I gotta say this new update it's it's really getting the job done I mean, I'm at a point where I, I'm barely taking over these days. So, yeah, who knows? There's supposed to be a new update coming out here soon, 10.69.3. And apparently that's gonna offer even more improvements. But yeah, comment below um, what you would like to see in one of the updates. It, it, um, it able to do uh, who knows it might already be able to do it <laughs> so one thing that I personally would like to see it able to do is um, is a multi-level garage summon as in uh, yeah exactly how it sounds imagine a, a park garage multi-level you know say you're parked in the fourth floor underground and you want your car to come meet you at the top floor yeah imagine that um so you could just use the summon app and basically your car will drive up to the top floor um say it's a it's a garage it doesn't have an elevator for example and you don't have to um you don't have to walk down the stairs then you know you could just use summon In 500 feet turn right so yeah that's that's the probably the coolest feature i think i would like to see because i turn right i park in garages a lot um, so I would probably use that really well done making that very sharp right turn Ooh, could have done a little bit better with the yield there I think so I'll go ahead and record that not terrible I mean it didn't mess up I didn't have to take over or anything but yeah, it's always best, I mean, just provide that snapshot. It gives the, the autopilot team a chance to kind of review, I believe, all eight cameras and your cabin camera. I'm not sure about that. Um, 500 feet, turn left onto Chain Bridge Road. And then, like, the speed and the data of the car, positioning, all that. So, if it can offer any type of improvements... All right, so once again, um, 
it typically has no issue getting into this left lane. That's Canal Street. If you go straight, it goes right into Washington, D.C. You go left, it goes into George Washington Memorial to get into Maryland. So, One turn left onto Chain Bridge Road. All right. So we got a flashing yellow light and almost wanted to go there, but there was too many cars coming. It definitely wasn't ready. But yeah, typically it'll get in this left turn lane, but because there were so many cars backed up, FSD felt like it didn't have enough space, so I was going to continue straight. And that, that could potentially add, um, who knows, 20 minutes to my commute, so I wasn't going to do that. Had to take over, but yeah, I'm trying to make a left here, and I'm going to let FSD do it. Oh, check this out. Got a Rivian truck up there. That's cool. Definitely a fan. Oh, wow, look at it. Acting a fool, almost causing an accident. Look at that Rivian truck. Come on, man, just because you got a Rivian truck. No, I'm kidding. The car is cool. Um, definitely a fan. But uh, who knows where they'll, where they'll be in 10 years. Um, they might be doing all of Amazon trucks. Rivian actually is pretty cool, but um, yeah, I think I would rather go for the Cybertruck personally. I think that's awesome. So yeah, here we go, green light. FSD should be able to take this, no problem. All right, now catch up to the Rivian. But yeah, what do you guys think about Rivian and Lucid? Drop a comment below. Um, I'm starting to notice more Lucids in this area. We've got, a, actually we've got a Lucid store in Tyson's Corner where um, they have the, the Dream Air on display and you can go kind of build it out, price it out and get put on a waiting list. <laughs> I mean, that's not terrible. Tesla was like that. You know, it still is like that for some of their models. And um, yeah, I, I got nothing against Lucid. I got nothing against Rivian. I think they're really great alternatives to Tesla. Um, I love the competition. Last I heard, Lucid was dropping, um, dropping their latest car with three motors. And it's supposed to keep up with the Tesla model s plaid or x plaid so yeah i like it i think that's gonna that's gonna help build healthy competition you know right now there is no competition with In tesla feet, right so seeing lucid and Washington rivian Memorial enter the market Memorial. hopefully puts them on their toes a little bit and you know maybe you're gonna start seeing more luxury options in the interior of the car um Get granted, you know, now turn right Rivian to and George Washington Memorial Ooh. Parkway North Ramp. I was gonna take over because there were birds right in front of me picking out some roadkill, um, and I didn't want to run over the birds, but thank God they moved before I got there. Wow, super sharp exit! Oh my God, this is a little roller coaster right here. Oof. <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be the last stretch of the journey here. We are getting on George Washington Memorial. Great job about merging onto the highway. As you noticed, um, since the roundabout, even before I, I clicked on this video, FSD has been in control and um, I haven't needed to take over once. So, you know, I'm on my way to work. This could be your commute, you know, just to show you what it's like, uh, how easy um, it is to operate. Um, I implore everyone to learn how to operate autopilot. Um, I'm going to be making a video soon about, you know, what to do when you first enter a Tesla because I, I learned that a lot of people watching these videos have never been in a Tesla. 
so I'm gonna try to help you all out by providing some um, first to do's you know when you ever get in the car so that that way it'll help but once you get it down to uh, pilot this car is is uh, extremely easy uh, compared to uh, traditional gas or ice cars because well not not just gas cars more, mostly other cars because of the driver assist you know features there's eight cameras in this car outside you know that, that uses the cameras and the ultrasonic sensors to basically provide you the best riding experience so you know there's satellites in the air that's giving uh, GPS systems um, as well as LTE connectivity so yeah a lot of cool features when it comes to that nonetheless like um, main roads you know I'm pretty confident it, it drives well as you can see there are little red flags here and there where you know you want to report but at the end of the day um, Tesla's only getting better so all right so I want to thank everyone for watching this video this morning I really appreciate it um, thanks for riding with me and um, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video uh, subscribe for more content Take the interstate 495 north exit on the right to the parallel. And uh, yeah, thanks again. I hope you all have a wonderful day.